course, we're all, in a way, designed to compete. Competition engages the dopamine chemical, which is associated with reward and which is associated with the survival of the human race. It's been evolutionarily advantageous. Dopamine is huge, so competition is thus huge. However, we fall into a spectrum when it comes to our level of engagement with competitive situations. People have high achievement motivation and people have low achievement motivation. Those with high achievement motivation love to stack themselves up, up against others and see how they compare to others. Those with low achievement motivation actually don't like to compete against other people and don't like to compare themselves against other people. You could say that some of us are warriors and some of us are worriers. And the truth of the matter is we need both for the world to survive. If we were all warriors, it'd be all everybody against everybody else, this like chaotic free-for-all. And if we were all worriers, we would have never stepped out of the cave. And that's the reason why most of us probably fall somewhere in between. As animals, we have been sort of risen in our capacity to be compassionate and empathetic beings. Competition moves from who can beat each other up to healthy, creative forms of competition.